Hey Rick, I used to have one of these. What a great car. Aren't they great? What year is that? That's an 86. 86, I had yeah. an 88 turbo. Yeah. Oh man, I had this thing modified. It was like fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, and you know, it was a quick car and everything, but now I have this turbo S uh, PDK transmission, big turbos, and uh, I have to admit, I love driving this car. Yeah. I love, I love driving it. But this car is kick ass. Oh, well, it's great for you, go guys. I mean, you don't have to work at shifting. No, no, that's right. You don't have to work at shifting. I just put it in Sport Plus and floor it. No, I like these cars a lot. They're yeah. good for guys like yourself. You yeah. guys are getting older, you can't shift. I can't you know? shift. You yeah. can't, you know, when you go into a corner, it, it helps you guide through the corner. Yeah. You know, you got all those traction control devices. Yeah. Here, it's all me. Yeah, it's all me. You know, the interesting thing is this car, compared to this, is like a luxury hot rod. Exactly. Like a drag car. Right? Yeah, it's Man, for the guys car like is, you. The guy is so, the thing is so fast. Look at like, you. I mean, look at you. You got to have that. Look at you. You need comfort. I in, need in it. This time, time of your life. <laughs> it's like great. Right. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You're old, but you got the new car. And yeah. I'm young, and yeah. I got the old car. So enough talking about these cars. Let's show them what these cars are capable yeah. of doing. You think you're fast? I'm real fast. You're quick? I'm quick. You have not, no idea how quick this thing is. Today was a great day. So we learned about the 911 Turbo S 2014 and the 86 911 Turbo. And yeah, the uh, the Turbo S is a lot faster. It's got a lot of cool uh, whiz bang technology. But there's something intrinsic about shifting a car. I mean, there truly is. I think uh, I think you have a little bit more fun. It's all you, as I always like to say, instead of having the technology doing all the work for you. Um, and there's something, uh, there's something special about the old cars. Uh, they're hand built, and you can feel it when you drive them. Uh, but that turbo was, you know, ex extremely fast, and uh, it's, it's an amazing car. But I think overall, uh, at the end of the day, um, this is still a very fast car. This was as quick. This was the fastest accelerating car in 1986. Um, and today, obviously, that new one is. Uh, fastest accelerating car so um, you know they just get better and better with time and um, but it's amazing these cars are still on the road today and they're uh, they're just really really good cars and I always and I keep reiterating that statement they're really good cars and the biggest advantage of this car though um, that the other guy doesn't realize John doesn't realize uh, is that um, this car is actually worth more money still than his car. This car actually appreciated in value. So I can have my fun, but I still have an investment. Blue chip, blue chip investment. Nothing like it. Driving. I guess there's no wrong wrong answer. No, there is no wrong answer. Porsche makes the great cars no matter what year they made, right? Exactly. Doesn't yeah. make any difference. Depends exactly. on what you're looking for. Absolutely.